Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Laravel 5.6 with React.js as the front-end framework. Firstly, you're going to need to go to getcomposer.org, hit the download button in the navigation, and then copy and paste the relevant text. You can now open up a terminal window and paste this code directly into there and then hit enter. They should now install Composer for you. We're going to need to install um, the Laravel installer. So we're going to do that by going to laravel.com, clicking the documentation tab, and scrolling down until we see the installing Laravel section. Uh, basically, we're just going to copy and paste this into our uh, terminal window again, and hit enter. I've got this installed myself, so um, it'll probably just skip, but it may take you a couple of minutes. All right, that's great. Uh, I'm now going to create a directory to store my Laravel projects in. Do make their Laravel tutorials. I'm going to cd into that directory. And I'm now going to set up a brand new Laravel project. I'm going to do Laravel new. I'm going to do tutorial react. Uh, this is going to set up a default um, Laravel project with Vue.js because um, that's the default scaffolding. And um, after this is fully um, installed, we're going to switch the framework from Vue.js to React. And we're going to do that by heading back to the documentation, clicking front end on the left hand side, clicking front end scaffolding. I do highly suggest you have a read through all this, but uh, for the purposes of the tutorial and to keep it quick, I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom and copy and paste this. So this is just gonna swap Vue.js to React.js. I'm going to paste that in. Oh, sorry, before I do this, I'm going to cd into the directory. Um, tutorial React. I do ls just to check that everything's been installed. I'm going to then run composer install. Uh, this is just going to install all the dependencies which uh, the project needs by default. That's great. And I'm now going to copy and paste this using React snippet. And hit enter. Um, that's really quick. So um, the npm install and npm run dev is what's actually going to compile the new scaffolding. Uh, this usually takes quite a bit longer. So I'll do npm install and then npm run dev. Hit enter. Like I said, this usually takes a couple of minutes, but um, as soon as that's done, we can open up the project and um, check out the uh, default components that they provide us with. Um, as an example, um, we can also open it up in our browser. And yeah, just, just to show you that it all works. As we can see, Laravel Mix has built successful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do PHP artisan serve. I'm going to specify a port. Um, you may not need to do this, but I hit that. I'm going to visit this URL. And as we can see, Laravel is all up and running. And now I'm going to go back um, to turn my server off. I'm going to do sublime 
dot just to open it up in my text editor and then I'm going to click resources assets JS and then we can see here that there's been a default react uh, component installed as an example and yeah we're up and running